Hey folks, want a uh, part four video on the biomass hybrid heater um, by KBSMC or Kenny. And I just I lit it up this morning. It's, it was about 48 outside. Want to not chill off in the shop. And uh, plus get a little more of this paint burn off of here. But she's doing a heck of a job. And you can hear it stoking. She's a sucking air. She's going to tell me to open the door up. And she is going to town. And that's a big old uh, maple log we got in there. It was cut over the su uh, summer, a dead maple. Probably ain't the best wood, but hey, it's, it's keeping warm. I'm gonna chuck a, chuck a little bit of oil down on her. Just a little drip. There we go. There we go. Little drop, couple little drops is all it takes. You can hear it pumping again. She is stoking, let me tell you. Here's the temperatures. Right here. It's a toughie. There we go. Flu stack temperature gauge. Yeah, we're sitting at. And here's the upper one. Burn indicator. She is romping. All right, let me show you what the stack outside is doing. Something. And she is clean and burn. That's all the smoke you see out of that stack. And I just, that's when I put a little douse oil, you know, a little drip of oil in there. Let me see them in a little butter. Y'all see that? She draws good. But anyway, y'all, here's the how we got the stack constructed. I came in here and put these angles. I gotta show you my other videos. You keep everything off there. I put a piece of flashing. Oh, uh, kind of gotta put a piece of flashing right there over top of my flange. Uh, from my uh thimble because if we got a side blowing rain like a northeaster or something like that or easterly it won't uh, nor, nor, yeah northeast that way it, the rain would drip off the side of the building and then come down off of that and give her top of everything you think dry but yeah y'all this is uh, how I got it offset my and this is the best way to do it I mean instead of cutting a hole through your eave my, a lot of people might disagree with me. I just don't want to cut through my uh, roof from a building or nothing like that. And you gain a whole lot more heat. Uh, I, in my previous adventures every year, wood stoves, you know, you know, going through through the wall if you, if you can. But you gain a whole lot more heat that 90, and there it just, just puts heat in there. Uh, but that's just my experience. Everybody's, you know, own opinion. But I, just, I hate putting a hole right through my roof. But anyway. But yeah, I mean, it's, some applications you can't do it. I mean, I, I, yeah. And then again, the ideal situation is to have the chimney in the center of the house. It's real good. But here we go. There she is. I get back in the distance. Oh, Jamami. I see very little smoke coming out of the top of that stack. She is doing a heck of a job. 
and that's my standoff looks like from a distance. So I reach my overhang that piece right there, that vertical piece, excuse me, that horizontal piece. That is a uh, three foot section of double wall going through my building. So that way I'd have enough to where I can make it um, you know, go through there enough to where I can put my stove pipe to. Alright, now we'll go inside and see what she's doing. And I burn pine cones, all different types of wood. The main thing is keeping the fire hot. Yeah, right now, the flu temperature, and this is single wall pipe now, y'all. It's right at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm right here. It's 350 degrees. Now I close this damper up a little bit right here. I close this damper up a little bit. About three quarter of the way. I hold more heat in the stove. Plus I can lose these other dampers up down here, but he's burning good. Man, if you see down here at the grates, the grates are cherry red. They are doing their job, keeping the wood off the bottom of the stove and letting everything breathe. But yeah, but that's a hot fire, y'all. Let's see what this does again. Okay, y'all ready? Hey, I like that. Get some fire going now. A little more. going good when you do a little drip on there and see it dripping can y'all see it dripping going through there a little drip here and there drip it's doing a job let's place that bad boy up a little shot I see, I see my smoke's coming on out there now. When you got a hot fire, it does really good. Now look at that. Got a little, little bit of black. Not much, though. She's clean burning. But you only want to do it when it's a hot fire. Yeah, she got her going good. I, I, I use veggie oil, you know, or leftover veggie oil from my cookers and all that good stuff. And just want to give you a little update. That's how she's doing, and uh, she is doing a heck of a job. You get me a poker. Maybe we're gonna stir that fire up a little bit.
it's just clean burning stove, y'all. Clean burning stove. And this is the old Vire 94 with my air tubes in there. Um, air tubes and they'll, short, they'll, they'll run you out of here. Right now it's about 70 degrees in here and it's about 48 outside. So we'll give her some more tests. And Lawrence wanted to share this with y'all. She's doing a heck of a job. Okie dokie. Close this on up. Wrap things up. But, alright y'all. Well, I want to say thank you for watching. This is KVSMC or Viralosity. Just want to call me late for dinner. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, I'll make some more videos on my stove and how everything operates. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. All right. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.